breaking. The Ohio River is returning to its banks. This morning, the flood warning was canceled, but not all the problems are gone. On the east side, some water still covers Kellogg Avenue. Crews are busy trying to wash away the muck and mud the river left behind. The river crested on Sunday just short of 58 feet. That's six feet above flood stage. The river is expected to be at 49 and a half feet by tomorrow morning. The cost of flooding is still being tallied, but what we found out today, officials are using the lessons of the past to reduce the cost of these disasters. WLWT News 5's Curtis Fuller is down along the river now with more. Curtis, good evening. Good evening, Mark. As a matter of fact, we checked with uh, state and federal officials. And what will happen from this point forward? Local officials will submit their estimates to the state, and then the state will try to get some money from the feds. We don't budget uh, for. Uh, for flood cleanup and flood damage in our, in, our, in our little budget for a little town like this. Here in New Richmond, as the water recedes and the cleanup continues, there is a sense of relief knowing things could have been much worse. If the flood had risen uh, a mere uh, 2.3 feet and reached the 60 foot, then that really triggers a lot. Like all towns impacted by the flood, determining the financial hit is not an easy task. The new Richmond Village Administrator says the safety of residents is always a priority, followed by protecting property. At the same time, we have to be prudent in terms of, of, of how, we, how we spend things because there's no guarantee that we're going to be reimbursed. FEMA estimates floods cause an average of $8.2 billion in damage across the U.S. every year. But since 1996, the agency has spent more than $300 million to reduce the damage from future flooding, preventing $1 billion in losses. The 97 flood was, uh, was pretty much a wake-up call uh, all the way around in terms of, one, making sure that our residents were educated in terms of what the river does and the need for flood insurance. The village has worked very closely uh, with FEMA uh, to uh, understand the risks and encourage residents uh, that are more flood prone to, uh, to move to higher grounds. And we've mitigated a lot of property since 1997. Now, coming up at 6 o'clock, we'll talk to a resident who's lived along the river for more than 30 years. And now he's wondering whether or not his insurance will take care of the loss he's incurred. Reporting live, I'm Curtis Fuller, WLWT. News 5.